Hello everybody and welcome back to another monthly favorite. So according to whatever I'm doing, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just started filming my opinion on whatever show or movie or whatever I like during the month because I realized that when I do these videos at the end of the month, I don't really remember the way I felt um, when I finished whatever or the first time you aha. Uh -huh. So I decided to start recording my, I guess, opinion slash, not reaction, yeah, just opinion, uh, feelings, emotions, the exact moment I was feeling them, but I, I didn't do it with the Joker. I decided to start doing this uh, after, I think, the second or the third movie I watched, I don't remember, and so I didn't film my Joker opinion uh and right now i really wanted to go watch it again because um i honestly i know i loved it but <laughs> i don't remember exactly how i felt uh and what i wanted to say because i was like oh my god i i know exactly what i want what i want to say uh at the end of the month with my you know favorites and shit and i i, I don't remember uh, but I know I loved it. I loved it so much. I felt like Joaquin Phoenix is such an amazing actor. I didn't even recognize him. I didn't even know he was uh, the guy from uh, Science. Is that the name of the movie? You know, the alien movie. Because um, I posted a picture of him on my WhatsApp status and my mom um, asked me if I noticed the, the lip thing. And I was like what the only actor i know with the lip i don't know how it's called in english okay so bear with me with the lip thing is um the guy from the signs signs i don't remember it's the this old alien movie and that actor is pretty young you know i didn't even remember when that movie came out and then i realized that it was actually joaquin phoenix and i was like what the fuck everybody was like oh yeah from gladiator i don't even know the name of the movie I've never seen that movie. Uh, I, I I saw Science, the sign, whatever. And I think that's like the only movie I've seen of him. I was so impressed with his performance. He lost so much weight. No, wait, I, I, I also watched her. I love that movie too. But I didn't, again, I didn't know that was Joaquin Phoenix, the one from her. I... You know, I'm, I'm bad with faces and names and like everything that has to do with using my brain and memory you guys know that so yeah i was so impressed with his performance i felt like it was actually in the same room with the mentally unstable person you know like i don't know i felt so awkward at this i don't know how to say it but that shit really impressed me and the photography was just freaking amazing actually after watching the movie sometimes i'm not even in the frame sometimes i i find myself doing the dance thing like i mean maybe i'm starting to lose it too but yeah this version of the joker was fucking amazing i hate people comparing all the jokers and making fun of jared leto's joker they didn't even give him a chance and it wasn't his fault that this his joker just turned out to be a freaking joke it wasn't his fault i know he could have done a great job if he would have had the chance like like i don't know at least a whole movie you know but anyways yeah those are my thoughts of the movie joker freaking loved it just got home from watching project gemini i think that's the name in english and it I think it was so good. I was very excited to watch it because obviously Will Smith young and Will Smith old. Bagheera! Mente! 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 Mim! So, he should be in my favorites, right? I mean, I, I don't think I have shown him before. You guys know Cory, but you don't know Bagheera. Bagheera? Ay, que bonito. He won't let me touch him still. I mean, a little bit. I could barely carry him today. See? Carry him today just for a little bit. But yeah, okay. I was just very excited to see him young and 
adult in the same movie. And I wasn't disappointed. I, I thought some of the dialogues were kind of cheesy, maybe. Uh, at one point, I was feeling a little bit uncomfortable and awkward because of the dialogues, but I mean, I don't know. Overall, it was a very good movie. Uh, also, the CGI was so fucking amazing. Will Smith actually looked, the young, the young version actually looked like I was... Like I was watching a Fresh Prince episode, it looked so freaking real, it was so amazing. So I don't understand why at the end of the... ¿Qué pasó? Sí. So I really don't know why um, in the last bit of the movie where we see them together again and like all that peace and shit why the younger version of Will Smith looked like, like I don't know, like some very old video game. Like the graphics were, the CGI was not realistic CGI anymore. It was just like I was playing some PlayStation 3 video game. It was weird. Uh, like PlayStation 3 came out, I don't even know, over 10 years ago, something like that. So I was kind of disappointed in the end because everything, the graphics looked so fucking awesome and then this little bit was just, I don't know, not good. It looked so fake, not like in the whole movie, he looked so freaking real and then this little bit, it was just like, nah, fake. Despite the cheesy part and the bad, video game quality in the end. I just got home from watching either Good Guys or Good Boys. I don't really know the name in, in English. The translation would be Good Boys, but okay. My makeup is a mess because I cried so hard. Not because I was sad, but because I laughed so hard. I took my mom. This is the second time I watched it and I still cried laughing. Um, I took my mom because I really wanted her to watch it, uh, the movie, I don't know, it's just so funny and it surprises me a lot because these are kids, the, the main characters are kids and they're playing with like dildos and sex toys and like really grown up things, so I'm kind of surprised uh, that even if it's just acting, kids would be allowed to play with that. I'm guessing their parents or their, um, what's happening here? Or their, um, I don't know, a manager or something, they have, they would have to sign something that allows them to use a certain kind of language and like to play with sex toys and all that stuff. I, 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 I'm pretty sure they gotta know what it is if they're gonna do stuff with it, even if it's for a movie. The little kid, I think, the, the main, the main one, I guess. There are three, but there, there's, there's one that is like, like a, the main one of the main ones. I think he's the one from the room, right? I was really surprised by his acting in. No, it's not the room. It's room. I was really sur surprised by that kid in room, and I think. The eyes, the, the eye shape is kind of the same. So I think it's the same guy. I don't know. The point is, he's such a great actor. I love that kid so much. This movie will give you a good laugh. And trust me, good laugh. I don't laugh that much like to the point where I cry. Not that much. But this movie, it didn't fail to make me cry of laughter twice okay twice and multiple times it's so hella good even my mom loved it last night i watched a movie called the spy who dumped me i wanted to watch it because obviously sam i don't know how to pronounce his last name jamie fraser from outlander uh so i had the movie for a while but i didn't really have the chance to watch it until last night because i'm sort of moving out Finally, I'm more like house sitting for someone, a family member who left two years ago. Uh, she thought she was gonna be able to come back this year, but 
things got complicated. She's not coming back. She doesn't know when she's gonna come back. So I'm, I've been moving my things and I don't have internet either here in my house or there. Hopefully, I already hired an internet company thingy, but they said 72 hours. It's been 24. So hopefully by the end of this week, I'm gonna have internet again there. Internet here just never came back and I am so upset about it because I haven't been able to post my The Walking Dead reaction. Whatever. Okay, so I didn't have internet, but I took my TV and my laptop and shit and I watched The Spy Who Dumped Me and oh my god, it's so good. I mean, it's a really fun comedy movie to watch when you're definitely bored or home alone and you don't want to watch a, a, a horror movie because you're too scared. It was so fun and it was so weird to see Mila Kunis kiss Sam... Don't know how to pronounce his last name. Hewen? Sam Hewen? It was super weird, but I fucking ship that, okay? In the characters, because I know she's married to Ashton Kutcher and they are like the best couple ever. But yeah, it was a great movie. It was really, really funny and I definitely want to watch it again. Oh my god, and yes, the spy who dumps her is Kevin from The Leftovers. I was so surprised and excited to see him kind of wrinkly because I'm guessing The Leftovers is, it's, is old. And this movie is from this year, last year, I don't even know. So yeah. All right, I just finished watching, uh, how do you pronounce that? Fog, Euphoria, okay? Some friends were telling me that it was so good and I really wanted to watch it because of Zendaya. And oh my God, it was so good. I know the camera is a little too close to my face right now, but um, I'm on my pajamas and it's not like you haven't seen me on my pajamas, but not this kind of pajamas. So moving on. Yeah, like literally just finished watching it. I, I think it was so good. I, you guys probably don't know, but um, some of my family members have gone through um, drug addictions and stuff. So, and oh my God, in in the final episode, the, the moment when the dad died and stuff, um, that really got me because it, it brought some painful memories back. I really hope that they make a second season. Zendaya is so great i mean it's not like she's the best actress ever she has that je ne sais quoi you know she i don't know i really like her well ever since the greatest showman i just totally fell in love with her and here i think i fell in love with her even more so yeah really great show I am Peter Pan, I'll never be a man if you never wanna grow Take my hand, I'll take you to Neverland I am Peter Pan, I'll never be a man